There's no doubt that De La Salle College has a rich sporting history, so I've come to our sports complex today to talk to some past and present pupils and to find out how sport affected their education. Anthony, would you say that you feel under pressure to perform well both in the ring and in the classroom? I always feel pressure in the ring because I always want to win and the fact that I've won two Irish national titles, people always expect me to win. And But it's good to have that kind of pressure because it makes you want to win more. And in school, so I always want to get your GCSE just in case the boxing don't work out for you and you have something to fall back on. So yeah, I feel a bit of pressure. Was the pressure you put on yourself or did it come from the school or the boxing club? Well, it was pressure I always put on myself because I want to win every competition I enter in. I don't want to do well, I want to go to competitions like of Europeans and World Championships. Plus, I uh, always be pressure myself to do well in school anyway. Because I always want, to, always want to bounce back in life if the boxing doesn't work out. How did this affect you? Well, it makes me more motivated to do well. And just makes you more dedicated and just makes you more disciplined, etc. Donald, do you feel a part of this? I feel that this is actually the sport has benefited in my academic studies to be honest. I know, uh, you know playing sport in school definitely has uh, you know given me more motivation to come back into the classes and want to succeed more. Um, I feel that getting the, you know, the college is all stars, which is within the school as well. Uh, but it gives me a good drive you know, for university because it, it enhances you know, better chances and stuff and gives me more focus in, in the classroom to get good grades. Ryan, where do you see yourself in five years' times in terms of your sporting career? I see myself training for the Olympics and hopefully a world medal. Trampoline is quite an up and coming unique sport. Do you have any particular sporting role models that you look to for inspiration? Yes, I look at Dong Dong because he's world champion and Olympic champion. Can you tell us a little bit about your training regime at the minute? Yeah, my training is going very well at the minute in Dublin with the Irish Elite team. I'm training twice to three times a day, running. Sparring, bags, pads, strength and conditioning, everything, you know, the team team's working hard for the European Games here in May, which is a, a qualifier for the World Championships, and the World Championships can qualify for the Olympic Games in Rio. So, uh, things are going well at the minute, the team's all working, working very hard, and everyone's getting well, getting on well in the team. Did your boxing experience help you, or hold you back in your GCSE years? Boxing helped me when I was in school, you know. I was up from 6 in the morning, going running, and I was coming into school fresh where everyone was coming in tired and they were, they were going to bed late where I was going to bed early and getting a good night's sleep and plenty of rest for coming into school healthy and fresh for a full day's learning. So it helped me a lot. Like. And finally, what advice would you give to pupils in Nassau setting out on a sporting challenge? The advice I would give to any people setting out on a sporting challenge is you gotta keep working hard on your dreams. You gotta commit 110% effort to anything you do in your sport. Don't just do half measures. You have to go the full way. Um, and you have to want it yourself. Nobody else can want it for your coach, come on, your friends. You have to you have to dedicate time for your sport. You can't be out in the weekends or you can't be eating certain foods, you know. You have to it's no half measures in that sport. You have to give a hundred percent and nothing less. This is Kaelin reporting for BBC Scoop Report.